Ward, how are you? Peter, I'm feeling fabulous. How about you? I'm great. So what are we going to talk about today? Angular U, of course. So what's your session at Angular U? Oh, you mean that one? I'm going to get mean. Now, I bet you want to know what mean really means. I do. Tell us all about it. Well, it's an acronym. Uh, the M is for MongoDB, which is the NoSQL document database where we store our data on the server. The E is for Express, the JavaScript server that is running on, well, I'll tell you in a second. It runs on Node. The A is for Angular, which we all know and love, and, and that's for the client-side development of your app. And then the N is for Node, which is the JavaScript platform that runs everything that's on the server side. So why, why would anyone care? Is that good? Well, I, I think it's pretty good. It's highly popular, so a lot of other people think it's good. I'll give you two reasons why I think it's good. Uh, first, it's great for developers like us, because we're able to write in JavaScript end to end one language, which we like. Uh, there's not a lot of friction as you transition across the layers and boundaries from client to server. Uh, and we're able to use the same tools across the stack. So it, it feels like we're really like cranking things out, pumping it out without a lot of context switching. And, and it just feels so facile and easy. But there's a, a second reason too. Oh, what's that? Well, Peter, I hate to break it to you, but it's not all about us. It's not? No. There are the stakeholders in the project to think about. Most importantly, that project owner who writes us the check. And that owner cares about other things that Mean happens to do well. For example, uh, the application that you're building runs great in production. It's not just running great in some developer's hothouse. And it's secure in production. Uh, it can be built um, for uh, low software and hardware cost because you're using a lot of open source so uh, software and you're deploying this all on, on commodity hardware, which it uses very efficiently. Uh, that developer productivity that we like, that I was talking about, happens to be good for the stakeholders too because it makes uh, our application quicker to market uh, than other technology stacks we might use. And, and it's a lot quicker to evolve as the new requirements come in. And uh, a lot of other big companies are using it too, which is reassuring. So my goal in all this is that the folks in my Angular U talk get that, that they understand these value points and, and can express them uh, to their stakeholders, to their bosses, and, and also that they feel like excited and motivated to learn more about the possibilities and the reality of mean, uh, and ultimately that they'll try it for themselves. Wow, that sounds incredible. Yeah, I think it is incredible. Well, we're all looking forward to seeing your session in June. Well, I'm jazzed about giving that session and seeing all the other great sessions we're going to have at Angular U. And hey, if you're watching this right now and you're kind of on the fence, let me tell you, you got to be there. <laughs>